Sanitizer, Maker's Leather Supply, and in today's video we're going to start making the Caitlin bag. It's a purse. Um, it, uh, when you open it without gloves on, inside it's got a zippered pocket, a couple of different compartments, a little pocket up front. Sorry, I'm not holding it high enough. So several compartments and things like that. This was this month's mystery box, and soon will be a kit and a pattern uh, available as well. But we sent these out in this natural, um, naked form. So the first thing we need to do is color them. Um, so we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do some dye work on it, and I'm gonna use an airbrush for this. That's why we're out here in the garage instead of my nice air-conditioned office. And uh, <laughs> Janie's standing in the doorway of my nice air-conditioned office, just watching from the nice cool. It's hot as heck in here. Um, so anyway. <laughs> Um, but I wanted to show you this one so that we could talk about what parts we're going to dye how. Um, first and foremost, I'm going to do like a sunburst type effect. Uh, I think it's called, is where I'll dye the whole thing one color and then hit up edges and, and accents another color. Um, but I'm just going to show you the different parts of what we'll do. Um, any of these gusset pieces, there's a gusset piece here, here, and another one on the, the little pocket up front. I'm just going to go ahead and go dark with those. Um, the flap, the back panel, and the front panel, I'll do the two-tone um, coloring, and then the front uh, pocket panel, I'll do the two-tone coloring. And since I'm not coloring the inside of this bag, the zippered uh, pouch that goes in the middle of the bag, I'm not going to color it at all. Because um, if I colored it, then it would just look kind of strange to me. That, um, that it would be colored and the rest of the inside would not. Uh, then again, I am not a purse-making um, connoisseur or guru by any means. Um, so anyway, so I'm going to put the camera down where you can see the, the work table I have here. Um, I just threw some cardboard down so that we'd have something, a uh, surface to uh, do our airbrushing on. So here's the small gusset that's going to go on the little pocket piece in the front. And then here's the two middle gussets. All of these are just going to be dyed my darker color, okay? And then over here I have the front and back panel and the flap, okay? And then the small pocket piece. All of these will have both colors on them. So what I'm going to do first, since I'm using an airbrush, is I'm going to dye these three the light color. And then after that I can come back with the dark color. Hopefully I don't sweat too much on it. I'll come back with the dark color, I'll hit up all the edges of these, and then also I'll solid color these, the dark color. Um, in the mystery box, we did not include a shoulder strap or a, um, a zipper, because people do those so many different ways that I just don't have a way to put them out there. I mean, a lot of people even buy pre-made shoulder straps for their purses and things like that. Um, but I'm just going to make one out of natural veg tan, and I'm going to dye it the darker color and um, I don't really know how long I need, so I'm going to dye a, a really long strip um, of 5 eighths of an inch wide leather. And, I'll, and uh, yeah. So, without further ado, I'm going to take the ones that are just going to get the dark color because they go last. I'm going to throw them over here to the side. Jenny, if you'll take this one inside, it needs to not be colored at all, so I don't want to overspray all over it. Oh, this too. Um, I'm going to load up my airbrush here with the lighter color. I'm using a Indelible Leather Dyes um, Honey Dye. Uh, it's a really nice kind of golden um, color. I really like it. It's, it's pretty. Um, to me, it's got kind of a 70s look uh, when, when done with a, a darker dye for the sunburst type effect. So I'm going to fill my little hopper here. I'm using a syringe because that uh, keeps me from spilling and dripping and making a huge mess, which I am known to do. Nobody cleans up after me, so i got to try to stay clean. <laughs> All right, my airbrush is already turned on. I'm going to put my little lid on my hopper here so I don't just slosh dye everywhere. And if you've never dyed any uh, leather with an airbrush, it's amazing. You get a really nice, even coat, and... Um, you don't use up a ton of dye. So here we go. I'm gonna spray a little bit just to make sure my airbrush is clean for this color. And I'm just 
doing a solid, even coat all the way across. Um, again, if you've never used an airbrush, a couple of tips I can give you is go past the end of your project and then start coming back across. And that'll keep you from, if you stop right here on the edge to go back across, then you'll get like a dark spot right there where more dye was applied there than everywhere else. Took me a while to figure that out. It does take some practice to not make it look like it's got tiger stripes on it. do have a little bit of stripe effect here so I'm gonna I'll do it a little bit more to get rid of that real quick once over here because the more I dye it the darker it's gonna get and uh, the more it'll get away from the true color of the dye and I don't want that I want it to stay light all right this hopper's kind of small on this airbrush so I'm gonna have to fill it back up here. Alright. Got her full, so we're on to the next piece. Here we go. I really like using an airbrush because again I get a, a nice even coat. I don't use up a ton of dye and that sucker is pretty much dry to the touch as soon as it's uh, colored. This is a new airbrush to me. i am got to practice with it a little bit more I think. Oh, that was dye again. But uh, this is the one that uh, Tandy Leather sells. I uh, wanted to try it out and see how it works. And honestly, I'm, I am impressed with it, but I need to practice with it some. I'm used to the one that I had, which was a, a simpler airbrush, actually. Uh, the one I had is only a single stage, and this one's a, a two-stage, which means with your finger, you can control the amount of dye that's coming out of it. So anyway, I, I do like the airbrush. I do think it's nice. I just need to practice with it some more. All right. Last piece. Hopefully we can get all the way through with it. And then we're going to move on to the darker dye. Now when I airbrush and I'm just doing browns and stuff, I'll always start with the lighter color and then move on to the darker color because I'm lazy and I don't want to clean out my airbrush in between. So that's how that works. Oh, so close. Oh, I'd have a little bit more of my syringe here, so that's good. That'll be enough. Just enough. It's almost like I planned it. Alright, so now, even though there's still a little bit of dye left in here, that's okay. I'm going to move on to my darker color and keep on keeping on. Um, for this, I'm going to use brunette, which is kind of a darkish brown. There, I just sweated on my dadgum leather. But, uh, 
paper towel here and wipe my face. I'm sweating like crazy. Not only is this uh, uh, garage hot, but you know, I don't know if y'all know this, but I'm kind of a heavy dude, so I sweat a lot. Jamie's filling me up. All right, so I'll take and just spray this a little bit on the table to uh, make sure that uh, the old color's out and the new color's in. And all I'm going to do to get that darker effect around the edge is just dye the edge with the airbrush. I'm going to go over it several times because I want it pretty dark. There we go. So there's the first piece done up the way we want it. And we're just going to keep on going just like this with all the pieces. Got a little bit far right there and I don't like it, but I have what it means is now I have to make the rest of it kind of match that and do a little bit further up. There we go. Now this is the back panel and I'm not going to do so much of the airbrushing on the, the top of this because actually yeah I'll do it on the top of this and a little bit on there um, because those are going to match up just like that. is going to be the main focus of this bag when it's closed, so I want to make sure and do it really well. And I say I'm out of, or I need to practice more with this airbrush, but honestly I need to practice period with an airbrush. I, uh, I used to do a lot of dyeing and airbrushing and I have just haven't done much of it lately. I've been using solid color leathers and not much veg tan in a lot of our projects. It's time to swing back that way and do some more of it. So now, the rest of these pieces, we're going to do just solid color dyeing. Um, I'm going to get all these out of the way so they don't have crazy overspray getting all over them. And we're just going to solid color dye the gusset pieces and then I'll do the, the strap piece as well. syringe she's got the precision of a doctor if I'm ever poisoned y'all know <laughs> well can you take a compliment and then you can turn it around <laughs> you know, Janie's favorite thing to tell me is there's a line you just crossed it <laughs> alright so there's that one
good and dark. to do this if I was by myself but I got to be able to talk and you got to be able to hear me so I can't use one right now plus I'm in a pretty large garage so it's not as big of a deal but if I was in my enclosed office or something like that there's no way I would be doing this airbrushing without a respirator is the strap and I'm only going to do I've got a liner for the strap as well but I'm only going to do the front side we'll see how it looks with the natural liner on the back it may look like crap I don't know time I talk about not wearing a respirator and stuff there's this old man that lived in the town that I'm from and uh, he painted cars for a living and man he was good at it been doing it all his life but the problem was he had no voice left I mean just from inhaling paint fumes all his life and stuff he just wheezed more than anything and I think about that poor old fella every time I try to skip wearing my respirator granted I don't do near as much airbrushing as he did car painting, but still. Smart thing to do. Take care of yourself. All right. So there we are. Um, we're going to stop this video, and uh, the next one will be constructing this. Uh, but for now, I've got to clean an airbrush, and um, I'll let you all color your bags. So until then, I'm Aaron Heiser, Maker's Leather Supply, and I'll uh, see you soon.